Hey guys, it's Clay Bunny LPS here. I'm sorry if you hear squeaking. My dog is in here rolling around chewing on his chew toy. But anyway. <laughs> oh yeah, uh, this is just the first LPS I grabbed. I, this is not my mascot. But anyway. Um, so guys, I am going to be reviewing um, some LPS that I got today at my job. Um, so you guys know how rare it is to find LPS in stores and packaging. Well, I actually got some LPS there. I bought the Lucky Pets, like those new ones. And let me tell you, Hasbro, I am disappointed. So I'm just going to be showing you guys, like, the pets real quick. And then, yeah, once again, if you hear squeaking, it's my dog. There he is over there, just... Yeah. <laughs> okay, so without further ado, um, so first one is the pufferfish. Um, I won't lie, the pufferfish is kind of cute. I won't lie. I do like it. I, do, I really do like it. I personally think it's the sparkles itself that give it such life. Because I'm pretty sure if it had no sparkles, I'm pretty sure I would be, like, customizing this thing. But it's lucky it has sparkles. So I do like this pufferfish. I do think it's adorable. So, yeah. It's so cute. The next one is this monkey. I personally like the monkey. I do I do think it looks fine the way it is. Um it's it's a blue color with some yellow. I love the gradient that I, that I, that they gave it. So, it's not like just a plain boring one. So, I think they did a pretty good job with this one. Although, if I had to give it any touch-ups at all, I would give it like the insides of its ears like yellow and stuff and they make it like blue and yellow, something like that. If you guys want me to customize this one, I I will. Um, I might. I still I still might, but we'll see. The ones I'm definitely customizing though is a, this camel. I thought it was a freaking goat or a llama, but it's a camel. Um, yeah. So this one to me it looks so dang on boring. Like, I'm sorry. It's, I just feel like whoever designed this was just like, oh yeah, let's just make a camel and just slap on a pinkish, get a purplish hair top of the sparkly blue bow. Yeah, that's a good idea. And they just did this, and it's cute, but it's just it's so boring and plain, and I don't like it. I do, I do think it needs more life to it than this. <laughs> and then finally, you got this rhino. This is actually my first LPS rhino, but anyway, yeah, same thing. I'm gonna be customizing it because I'm sorry, it needs a little bit more color. Like this is so boring. It's plain green rhino, like. Hasbro do better. <laughs> so I guess since I'm like right now making the Rhino, I'm going to be customizing it first. So here I actually um, did an edit of like what I want the Rhino to look like. So I'm going to attempt to customize it the best I can. Disclaimer, I am not a professional painter. But anyway, um, just enjoy the time lapse of me. <laughs> Sorry. Just enjoy the time lapse of me customizing this rhino. So here we go. So here's what it looks like so far. Um, I think it, I, I was like kind of messed up on the ears a little bit, but I can just easily fix that. And yeah, honestly, so far it's looking better though. Like despite all of its little paint flaws that I've made, but I think, it, I think it looks a little bit better. Like just like this is just giving it a little bit more personality, I guess. I'm going to attempt to do its eyeshadow design that I gave them. So let's... Wish me luck. If it doesn't turn out, like, the way I like it, then I'm just gonna not give her a shadow. Oh. <laughs> 
Okay, so I kind of fixed the eye a little bit the best I could. So I'm actually going to be doing the eyes off camera because I see like how hard it is just to get that one detail in. But this is what it looks like so far. Um, so what do you guys think? <laughs> so this is what she would look like like without, what's that, with the eyeshadow and without it. I think she looks really more sassy with the eyeshadow, so I'm definitely keeping it. <laughs> But this one, I just took a toothpick and did it. I'll remember that next time for, like, small details like that. Okay, so as she's drawing, I also kind of finished her off off camera because, like, I needed some quiet and not the pressure from filming. Um, she's still drying, but... Uh, and I gotta fix that one part of her eye. Ugh. But anyway, um, so this is what she looks like. Um, honestly, I think it looks so much better. Um, so pretty much what I did was I obviously kept the leaf thing. I gave her some yellow eyeshadow. I think she looks really cute with it. Um, since her horn is purplish pink, I gave her inside of her ears the same color as well as the tail and the toes. So I think she looks much better this way. I also added some polka dots on her head. So yeah, this is like, this honestly, I think looks so much better because like, this is what Hasbro should be doing. Like, just, I hope, I hope Hasbro sees this. Like, Hasbro, I do love, like, your L LPS. Don't get me wrong. I enjoy, um, your products. But I, again, this is, like, this is just my opinion. I really think you could be doing better, like, something like this. Like, here's before and after. Like, what do you guys think looks better? Comment down below. All right, we're just gonna let her sit to dry, and we're gonna start with the camel now. Let me just tell y'all, mixing this color is, like, so difficult. So I'm just gonna, I just mix it as accurate as possible, so it may not be the exact pink as this. If all else fails, we may have to remove the whole thing and do a whole different design. I just realized the ears are supposed to be blue. <sighs> okay, so this is what it looks like so far. I repainted the ears blue, and I made its little front fur it's almost the same, almost the exact same color as the, as the hair on top. I think it might be this. It's like it looks the same, and it's not. But at least it's like very extremely close to this, almost the same color. So it's turning out pretty good so far. All right, guys, so they are both done. This one's drying, of course, but they're both done. The only thing I'm going to do left is just put Mod Podge on it, but honestly, other than that, um, I got to say, I think I did a pretty good job with this. Okay, even with the tail being messed up, I'm still going to keep it the way it is. <laughs> I think I did a pretty good job with these um, pets. I think they look better than the original designs. Here's a before and after of this. I think it's a goat now. Like, I don't know. Do camels have three toes or two toes? I think they have three toes on each foot, right? So maybe it is a goat. <laughs> I can't even tell anymore. But anyway, other than that, though, whatever animal it is, um, I think it looks much better than how it looked before. Or it's just like it was so plain and boring, and now it's all cute. It has personality has more liveliness to it. Like, Hasbro, come on. Like, you could have done this. <laughs> okay, guys, so I'm just gonna, I'm not even gonna touch my cat. It's like, I, my fingers. 
But all right, everyone. Um, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to add Mod Podge to it, and I'll be posting pictures on Instagram. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in another video. Bye! Also, comment down name suggestions.